tell me about regionals. Mm -hmm. What that was like coming down to the final moments, trying to secure that sixth spot. Mm -hmm. So there were a couple scoreboards up on the course and we knew where we stood and there's like a little cut box to know if we were in front of it or behind it. And one of them was off by two shots. And so after the fact, I found out everybody was looking at it and everybody thought that we were two shots farther away or I guess we were only inside by two instead of four. So everybody had those extra nerves, but it honestly helped us. And there were a couple of clutch birdies made down the stretch and my, my teammates are awesome. You can definitely feel the pressure, especially for us. Like we haven't, none of us had played NCAA regionals before, um, but it's a fun experience and I knew this team was ready for it. So we just kind of tried to embrace all the emotions and all the nervousness and all the excitement about it. And then we pulled it off and that's just, that feels so good. And the celebration. What was that like? It was great. Like it was, I played them second to last, so it was just awesome to walk off the course and see all like three of my teammates stand there and their families and the coaches and just look at the leaderboard that was right by 18 green and just see that we were in, like we were gonna make it. It was just excitement, joy, happiness, tears of joy. Like it was, it was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was emotional and sweet and just, we expected it, I think but nobody else did. And then after the fact, we kind of realized how big of a deal it was. We've been told to be where our feet are and stay in the process and stick with the shot we have in front of us, but it, it's something bigger than that. So you've been here longer than some of the other ladies. What, what, how has the culture changed in the time that you've been here to put this team in this position? Well, it's been slow progress. Um, it's definitely been some up and downs, but we've been working hard and we've just try, kind of tried to like, both with the coaches and within the team ourselves, just talk about like, how do we want to do it? What do, what kind of culture do we want to have? And because we want to accomplish big things and we want to perform and we want to play the NCAA championship and we want to win tournaments. Um, and it, it's taken some time, but I think this, everybody on this team has bought into it really, really well and everybody's working hard on it every day. So this is like one of the reasons why we made it. Does this mean a little bit more being a local? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Definitely, because I've grown up and this is this is my school, like this is where I grew up being a fan of and going to football and basketball games and now I'm a part of it and we have fans and it, it's it's neat. For you, this was like a second sport. You started in swimming. How does, how does it go from swimming to golf and, and being so successful? Well, to pick golf was kind of random. It was just out of nowhere, um, but definitely I think one thing that I've taken from swimming is just like the practice mentality and being able to put in a lot of hours because with swimming I practice 20, 24 hours a week and that's hard physical work. Golf is a little easier on that part but you still spend a lot of hours and then just the competitiveness and the like being able to go when it's time to go. It's just been good. Let's talk about Moe's. Just is he like the the team captain? I ask Golda about every day if Moe's can be the team pet and this is his first time ever coming to practice, so it's a treat. <laughs> <laughs> well, he seemed like he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. Do you normally take him out on the course? I do, yeah. He loves golf carts and just hanging out on the putting green. Oh, wow. He's, he's a regular out here. How did you figure out that he would be so good around the course? He's just so lazy. He, he'll just sleep on the putting green, and <laughs> it get, keeps me company when I'm practicing. Well, kind of like I asked uh, Maddie Skinner from volleyball. Mm -hmm. This thing's easy, right? I mean, here you are first year and you're going to a national championship. Oh, yeah. It's a cakewalk. <laughs> uh, no, it's been a learning experience for sure. Uh, my teammates have been so good. And just coming into a team that already has good chemistry and getting to experience that and the support and the love for one another, it's really special. And that's definitely part of the reason we have this opportunity. So to see the success of other teams on campus like volleyball, swimming, diving, rifle, what does that do for another program like you all on campus? Well, it's very motivating. It's motivating to see them reach the same goals as we have and um, just the excitement and the joy. Like we're all part of the Big Blue Nation and we all want the same thing. And being a part of UK Athletics, just seeing them succeed is like motivating to us, even though we're doing different sports. Um, and I remember we all watched the final on TV and then we came together at practice the next day and we were like, that's so cool, we want to do that too. 